So in today's video, we're going to use the AR receiver with the remote control so that we can control some devices. In this video, I'm going to show you how to hook it up to the Arduino. Then we'll be able to control the LED using this remote control. We're going to use the plus button to turn the LED on and the minus one to turn it off. Of course, you could use any kind of remote that you have. So before we get started, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell. And let's jump right into it. So in today's video, you will need the Arduino Uno, the remote control, and the AR receiver, which we're going to hook up to the Arduino board, and basically the remote control sends some kind of light that is called infrared light each time I press a key. And this AR receiver can read the data about that light. And each key has its unique kind of light. In this video, we're going to check if we have pressed the plus button, we're going to turn the LED on. And if we press the minus one, we're going to turn it off. First, we need to understand how to hook it up to the Arduino. Basically, it's very simple. It has three pins. The minus pin on the left side. The middle leg is the VCC, which goes to the 5 volt pin of the Arduino. Then we have the signal pin on the right side. This needs to be connected to a digital pin that has the squiggly sign, like the pin number 3, 5. Anyway, let's start by fixing this on the breadboard and connect the three pins. You will need few jumper wires. I'm going to connect the GND to the GND of the Arduino and the VCC, which is the middle leg, to the 5 volt pin of the Arduino board. And finally, we need to connect the signal pin to a digital pin that has the squiggly sign, like the pin number 3. And that's all what we need. Now we can move to the Arduino IDE. And we're going to download a library, which is called IR Remote. We can go to Tools, then Manage Libraries, and let's search for IR Remote. For me, it's already installed, and it is made by Armin. I'm using the version 3.5.2. Once you install the library, we can include it in our code using hash, then include, and the name of the library is arremote.h. First, we're going to create the receiver object. The type is ar receiver, and let's give it a name like receiver or simply ar. And in these parentheses, we need to pass in the pin number. We've used the pin number 3. Then let's go under the setup function and enable the receiver using the name ar.enableARN. So this is a predefined method inside this library. And to check if we have detected a light using the AR receiver, we have a method that is called ar.decode. So this returns true if we have an infrared light that is received by the AR receiver. So we can use it inside an if statement. So if we have a light, in such case, we're going to read the data about it so that we can know which button we have pressed. And to do that, we have ar.decodedARData, then dot decoded raw data. And this is a unique number that depends on the button that we have pressed. We can print it using the serial monitor. So let's go under the setup function and use serial dot begin and the baud rate 9600. Then let's go under the if statement and print the value using serial dot print ln and we can pass in the raw data. Also, we can specify the format. We can print it in hexadecimal using hex and don't forget the semicolon. Now we have few things to do. First, we need to add a little bit of delay. And that's because the loop function is called over and over again. For example, it is called 100 times each second. That's why we need to add this kind of delay. 
Also, we have another method that we need to call, and it is AR dot resume, and that tells the AR receiver to read the next data. Anyway, let's upload the code. Then we need to open the serial monitor using tools, serial monitor. And if I press one of the keys, for example, let's press the plus button. And as you can see, we have this hexadecimal code. And each button has its unique one. For example, let's press the minus. Now we can check whether we have pressed this button. And we turn our LED on or off, depending on the button. And to do that, we need to go back to the code. Or first, we need to hook up the LED. So I'm going to use one of the digital pins to control the LED, like the pin number 8. Then let's add the ohm resistor and the LED. And if you don't know how to control the LED from the Arduino, make sure to watch one of my first videos. Then we need to go back to the ground pin. I'm going to use the GND pin on this side. Then let's go back to the Arduino IDE. First, I'm going to add a variable, which is the LED pin using int LED pin equals 8. And let's use the pin mode under the setup function. We're going to use the LED pin as an output so that we can turn it on and off. And let's move to the if statement under the loop function. And we're going to add another if statement to check if the decoded draw data equals the one of the plus button in such case we're going to turn the led on but if it's the minus one we're going to turn it off so let's go down and add if ar dot decoded ar data dot decoded draw data we're going to check if it's equal to the first one i'm going to go back to the serial monitor so this is the code of the plus button. I'm going to copy it. And let's paste it. But make sure to add 0x. Because we need to tell the Arduino IDE that this number is a hexadecimal one. In such case, let's use the digital write command to turn the LED on. We give it the LED pin. Then hi to turn it on. And let's copy this if statement and paste it but here we're going to check for the other code which is this one and make sure to change this to low to turn the LED off and that's pretty much it now we can turn on and off this LED using the remote control if I press the plus button it is turned on and we can turn it off so I think that's pretty much it guys for this video. I hope you like it. If you have any question or comment, make sure to write it under the comment section down below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the bell icon.